What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy belated 4th of July. So I've got some things that I want to talk to you guys about. I just wanted to touch base and let you guys know that I apologize for being so inactive lately. I've had uh, quite a few things kind of right. wrench in the mix, so to speak. And uh, I'm going to go over a couple of those things and kind of tell you guys what they are, what's happened, and and whatnot. And I've got a couple surprises for you guys in this video. Uh, so nevertheless, let's get into it. Also want to give a quick shout out to Sam Wise at Wise Auto LLC. He does all my transmission work. He actually uh, kind of put me in touch with Dave over, over at Gear End and got me a couple shop banners for the shop. Uh, they got me some merchandise and stuff as well. Um, I use, obviously utilize Sam's transmissions, uh, but we also use gear and parts in those transmissions as well. Uh, and so far, they have been absolutely phenomenal. Couldn't ask for a better trans, period. If you're looking for a trans, definitely try and get a hold of me or Sam over at Wise Auto LLC. We'll try and get you hooked up with a trans for your truck that fits your needs, your driving style, your habits, what you're going to be doing with your truck, so on and so forth. So I want to talk to you guys for just a minute about Heartbreaker. As you can see, the hood's up, um, and we've got turbo off and, and a couple other things. So basically what happened was I took the truck out of the street tune and put it into the hot street tune, uh, done one pull on it, and I seen 85 pounds of boost and got a lot of compressor surge with the charger, and I knew something immediately was wrong. So ended up the next day, went to drive the truck and it was smoking extremely bad and i'm like man <laughs> this is blue smoke it's oil it, it can't be the motor the motor's brand new it's fresh you know so ended up i pulled the charger off of it and sure enough uh, the turbine housing was completely full of uh, oil so i called up forced inductions and they kind of helped me spec out the charger uh, to what i really needed to be but essentially what was happening was the compressor was sucking in more air then I was allowing it to push out because my turbine housing was just way too tight. I had a 0.91 turbine housing, um, and I'm throwing enough fuel at the truck to make crazy boost numbers without having wastegates or anything to alleviate that extra pressure. So I ended up pulling the whole entire turbo setup off a of Heartbreaker. Uh, we're going to a SoCal Gen 2 S400 setup. Uh, we actually took the old headers off. I've got some new stuff here I'm going to show you guys that's replacing the old headers. Got a, a few new things for Heartbreaker, and uh, we're going to go over that stuff. But I have a surprise for you guys. Something come up with my daily driver, and I had to find something quick. And it just so happened to be perfect timing. Things worked out, and I, uh, I have a new daily driver, so I'm fixing to show that, guys. Here she is, boys. Extended cab short bed 2004 60. Now, this truck is actually a six speed truck. The reason I ended up getting it is the truck has a couple current issues with it. I've got to fix um, at the moment. It's currently, uh, it's, it is currently running, it is currently driving. Um, it just has some things that I need to go over uh, and, and fix that are problematic. So, as of right now, the truck is bone stock, it's never had a tune or anything like that. Um, Currently, I've got to do a front bumper and some headlights and stuff like that because it's actually the header panels falling apart on it. Um, somebody's hacked it up in the past. Anyway, um, I got the truck this past Wednesday. It had 20 by 12s on it. Uh, the tires were not in the, in the best of condition. I ended up uh, doing some trading with somebody, uh, and I got these 22 by 12s. They've got brand new 420s on them. Uh, it's not the optimal towing tire and wheel, I know that, but for now it's what I've got, uh, and I didn't have to fork out a bunch of money for them. Uh, just done some nice trading around, same way I got the truck. So we're going to be doing some stuff with this thing. Um, I'm not going to do anything crazy with it. It's not going to be some high horsepower build. I'm going to set it up to tow. Uh, we'll probably end up doing a set of bags in the rear. Um, I'm going to end up doing some body work and stuff. As you can see back here, the, the bed's what there the bed's pretty dented up um it, it's got it's definitely a fixer upper um so like i said though it's all stock it sounds superb there's no squeaks leaks anything like that um, it, i think it's really going to be a solid truck but for now uh we're going to leave it pretty stock um, i do have an egr delete and an intake on the way for it because it's actually currently missing the intake for whatever reason um 
and I am obviously going to have to tune it for the EGR to leak. I'm just going to do a simple, uh, probably 75, 80 horse toe tune, nothing crazy. It does have a brand new transmission, brand new clutch in it. Uh, we'll eventually be putting a four inch exhaust on it. Just little things like that. Like I said, we're not going to get crazy with it, but this is the new daily. So look for it to have plenty of modifications coming on the channel. So currently behind me, I'm going to give you guys a, a real quick update and status of all the trucks that are in here right now. Avery's truck, we just got the intercooler in this week. We just got the intake in this week. Uh, we've got a, a few other parts that are on the way. Uh, as soon as the other two pieces get here, everything is going to be going to powder coat. And as soon as everything comes back from powder coat, this truck is ready to put back together and send on down the road. And hopefully Avery uh, enjoys it and is happy with it. So we'll go on over here. I've got some stuff I'm going to show you guys in a minute. But uh, as far as the 6.4 Colton's truck, we ruled out that the PCM was definitely... The issue with his truck, we were getting several uh, miscommunication codes, no communication with the PCM, uh, tried everything, tried manually firing it and this and that, and I could get the truck to crank, but I never could get it to actually fire up. So I ended up, uh, I've got a PCM on order. It's on its way here. As soon as it gets here, we're going to take it to Ford, have it programmed for this truck, and hopefully get this thing fired up. Um, we have a set of dual fuelers and 60 overs to go in this truck. So as soon as we get it fired and make sure that it's running like it should, we're gonna go ahead and install the dual fuelers in the 60s, have it retuned, and we're gonna go from there with it. We're hoping to see somewhere between 780 to 850 to the tires with this truck, at least to start with, and then we're gonna go from there with it. The truck already has a built motor, built trans. It's got some upgraded factory style compounds on it. So a really solid start with this truck. So hopefully we can make some big power numbers with it. Now, as far as Heartbreaker goes, I'm fixing to show you guys all the new products we've got for this truck to get this thing back on the road and get it back running the way it should be with absolutely zero issues at all, or at least I'm hoping. You know, when you get up to this kind of power level and making this kind of power, anything's a possibility. Things are going to break. Things are going to go wrong. Uh, and sometimes, you know, you can't get upset about it. It's just, it's part of having a truck of this caliber. You know, things break. They're going to. It's inevitable. So... With that being said, let's get into this. I want to go over. All right, so these are all the new parts for Heartbreaker. So post tearing the truck down, I figured out that obviously the turbo seals were all completely shot. It was leaking tons of fluid or oil out of the turbine housing. So we ended up, we sent the turbo out to forced inductions, had them completely go through it. There was some damage to our compressor wheel. They were able to fix all of that. And uh, it was, it, it turned out amazing. Thank you guys to, to Jose and Jarrett at Forced Inductions for taking care of this for me, especially on such quick notice. Um, I've got, you know, they knew the deal. I've got an event coming up July 24th and July 25th in Crossville, Tennessee. And I absolutely had to have the truck together. So I had to have my turbo back. Uh, I was actually scrambling thinking I was going to have to buy another charger and called up Jose. And he was like, no, man, get it taken care of. Just get it on down here and I'll have it done in a couple days. So, Jose, Jarrett, thank you guys so much for taking care of me and getting this thing done on such short notice. Uh, you have no clue how much I appreciate that. And uh, this is the new manifold setup or header setup for Heartbreaker. Big shout out to my buddy Larry Steele over at SoCal Billet. He has been a huge help on this truck. He's helped me out from the get-go. Um, and Larry, I can't thank you enough, man. You, you definitely make this truck, uh, what it is, you know, without your parts on it, I would never have this truck where it's at today. Um, so guys, what this is, uh, I'm going to give you a general run over of parts. I got all the turbo smart stuff from Larry as well. So we have Larry's gated manifold set up. So what these are is basically a log style manifold with wastegate provisions in each head. So these are your dump tubes for the wastegate. Your wastegate is going to mount to the manifold itself, and then your dump tube is going to mount to the wastegate pointing down straight to the ground. So not only did we get the manifolds, the dump tubes from Larry at SoCal Billet, we also got a nice Turbo Smart Boost Controller, which is dual stage. If you guys can see this, there is a low side and a high side. So basically this thing has electronic connections obviously obviously those connections are made to a toggle switch that allow 
you just switch between a high and low boost setting. So we're gonna be setting this thing up to run spray or just fuel. Uh, we also have the new Gen 5 Turbo Smart 40 millimeter wastegate for Heartbreaker, if you guys can see that. This thing is a unit. It is so nice. Uh, Larry went ahead and took liberty of, of putting in the 50 pound springs in each wastegate. So we're already gonna be gated at 50 pounds straight off the hit. And then from there, I'll adjust it accordingly to what I need. So give me just a minute, guys, and a snap of the fingers. I'm going to show you guys what the manifolds, somewhat what the manifolds are going to look like with the wastegates. This is just a quick representation of how these things mount. So this is the passenger side manifold or header, whatever you'd like to call it. So basically, like I said, the wastegate's going to mount to your wastegate provision here and then your dump tube is going to mount to the to the wastegate itself so the nice thing about the turbo smart stuff is if you ever decide to change your setup around or anything like that they send you ferrules for wastegate provisions uh, in a different style setup but the nice thing about larry's stuff is both your dump tubes as you can see uh, maybe if it'll focus both your dump tubes and the manifold themselves with the wastegate provision They already come with those flanges already machined and already welded on there. So there's no guessing or everything these kits are all Excuse me. These kits are all direct bolt up. They also come with uh, Your exhaust back pressure bung as well as a bung on the back for an EGT probe uh, or an exhaust back pressure uh, gauge or anything like that you know whatever it is you're looking to do so this is just kind of a general rundown of how this stuff mounts up you know nothing's affixed um, but basically how they'll sit in the truck is just kind of like this your dump tube points straight down at the ground um, and then everything else is pretty straightforward guys so like I said I just wanted to show you that that is the new exhaust setup or hot side setup that's going to be going on heartbreaker like I said as well as all the turbo smart products uh, i'm not sponsored by turbo smart or anything like that guys this is just what i run on my truck uh it's just the best of the best products out there so like i said guys this is going to be the new hot side setup so i can't wait to get this stuff on there and start dialing it in and to top that off i'll show you guys kind of what i've been up to with heartbreaker in the back here it's not finished yet there she is yeah, sorry for the, the mess in the back. We actually did take this thing on a road trip a few weeks ago, um, so I still have yet to clean out the bed, hence the reason my flip-flop's still chilling in here. But, uh, yeah, she's just tucked away in the garage for now. We're just hanging, hanging out, working out. away, trying to get things done. And, uh, like I said, we've got that big event coming up in Crossville, Tennessee, July 24th and 25th. We're gonna be there. I'm probably gonna enter show and shine and I'll probably end up running 770. Um, I don't think the truck's quick enough yet or dialed in. I'm not gonna say quick enough, but I don't think the truck's dialed in enough yet to run 670. It's, I think it's got the potential for sure, no doubt, but um, I just haven't put enough seat time in the truck yet. So there's been a lack of content lately, but I wanted to touch base with you guys and apologize firsthand for that. I'm a one man show. I do all the trucks in here by myself, uh, as well as working my day job, as well as keeping my own vehicles running, um, along with you know our new tow pig daily driver here. I've got a lot going on, but I'm trying to bring you guys as much content as possible. So I really appreciate you guys hanging in there, being true, and uh, just, just continuing to watch the videos and stuff. Please make sure you guys hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you will. It, uh, it definitely helps the channel grow and it helps me bring you guys more content and better content. If any of you guys out there who are watching this happen to have a ZF6 six-speed truck, uh, 6.0, I would love to know what you guys' setup is. This is actually my first six-speed truck. So I'm real curious as to VGT, non-VGT. This is gonna be kind of a learning experience for me. I know uh, I have plans to delete and tune and put an exhaust and a clutch and things like that in it um, maybe a short throw shifter i think midwest diesel makes one i'm not real sure um, so i've got to do some checking in on that stuff 
But like I said, guys, uh, feel free to comment. Tell me what you guys think about the old tow rig here. Give me suggestions on it. Um, I wanted to show you guys the new setup for Heartbreaker. I've been pumped about that stuff. I've been waiting for it to come in. Uh, and like I said, big shout out, big thanks to Larry for knocking that stuff out real quick for me. He knew we were on a time crunch uh, and he made it happen for us. So thank you so much, especially, you know, like I said, with everything COVID-19 going on, coming from South California, all that stuff was handmade. Um, Larry, thank you so much, buddy. Sam, thank you for the trans, for keeping the truck running. Uh, everybody who helps me um, with the truck and just the support of you guys. Uh, I can't do this stuff without you guys. You know, you guys have been a real big driving factor and me continuing to do videos and stuff like that. Like I said, it's been extremely humbling, uh, especially with you guys backing me up and giving me the support that you have. Uh, people hitting me up on Facebook and Instagram, Snapchat and things like that. So thank you guys so much for your encouragement. Like I said, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell. Let's grow this channel. I want to be able to bring you guys the best content possible, especially Power Stroke related. Thank you guys so much. I hope you had a happy, safe 4th of July weekend. I hope everybody got to shoot fireworks, you know, sip on your drinks, have a good time with family and friends. Uh, if any of you guys have kids out there, I hope you got to enjoy some time with them, especially away from work. So thank you guys so much. I hope you had a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon.